Shanti, good morning. Let us continue with where we left off last time. Our sharing about how to see but not see, hear but not hear, how to stay in the essence, how to go into expansion. Next, Baba is speaking to Madhuban sisters. Baba says, the Shakti army of Madhuban means the army of special souls. Each of you knows your own speciality very well. Are you happy that you have become the residents of this special land because of your specialities? The past accounts of each of you are individual to you and they will continue to be settled. However, together with those, According to the drama, you have one or another speciality. And it is due to this that you have received this special part. To have the special part of constantly living in the land of charity and in this company of elevated souls is not a small fortune. The priests who look after the temples of the non-living idols consider themselves to be so great. Even though they are worshippers, they have such great intoxication. This is because they consider themselves to have a very close relationship with those idols. The worshippers of those non-living idols have so much intoxication. Whereas here, it isn't even a question of being a worshipper. Here you live in connection and have that company. And so you companions should have so much happiness and intoxication. It is impossible for souls who come into this, who come into this godly family, not to have a speciality. So recognize your speciality and use it. Recognize your speciality and use it. Whatever virtue or speciality you have, whether it is of some kind of work, or of being sweet and loving, you must use it. Just as the philosopher's stone was said to be able to change iron into gold. In the same way, when you use your virtue or speciality in service, you claim 100,000 fold fruit of that service. Therefore, one speciality makes you worthy of being rewarded for a long period of time. When one seed is planted, so much fruit develops on that tree. Similarly, to use even your one speciality for service in a practical way means plant a seed. Use even your one speciality for service in a practical way means to plant a seed. So do you understand how fortunate you are? You have taken birth in the Brahmin family. So together with having the fortune of this birth, you have also brought with you the fortune of one or another Speciality. The only difference seen 
is to what extent you actually use that speciality. You have the fortune of your birth, but you should know how to plant the seed to create the fruit of your fortune, future fortune for a long period of time by using your present fortune in practice or service. The fruit will definitely emerge. To sow a seed means to use the seed of speciality for service. Here everyone is constantly seated on the throne of fortune. This fortune which was created in the previous cycle is even now still remembered by souls who consider themselves to be very fortunate when they come close to God for even a second. So how great the happiness and fortune should be of those who have this fortune in a practical way at this time. When you keep this greatness in front of you, everything wasteful stops. Baba is inspiring us to use whatever specialities Baba has given us in a practical way, in Baba's service, whether it is you know, some speciality, whether it is that of being sweet and loving. Baba says that the more we use it in a practical way, it is like planting a seed. And then when we plant a seed, then you know, it multiplies. Because from one seed, then and the plant will emerge, the plant will get fruits, and the fruit will contain the seeds. It continues to multiply. Acha, Baba says Pandavas means those who are constantly victorious. The name of the Pandavas is well known because of their victory. The Pandava army is the special army that stays on the shores of the ocean in elevated company. So are you such a Pandava army that is always victorious? Is it always the game of victory? Or is there victory and defeat? Now, according to the time, cooperation, the drama, and the fortune that we have received, there should be the game of being constantly victorious. When you constantly use the speciality that we have received according to the drama, and you will also you will also be able to see the speciality of others. It is because you do not look at the speciality, but look at other things that there is to beat. Keep each one's speciality in your awareness. Be faithful with one another and the motives and intentions of others will change. Be faithful with one another and the motives and intentions of others will change. When there are two friends and a third person comes and defames them, then the friends change the intention of that person. For instance, if someone says something to you about Brahma Baba, Saying, what is this? This is like an insult. You would then explain to that one with faith that that is not an insult, but a clarification. 
where there is faith, the motive of the word, words changes and becomes an ordinary thing. Look at each one's speciality and we'll all, you will all be seen as one, although there are many of you. There will be a united gathering of one direction. When someone is saying something defamatory, then instead of supporting that one, transform the form of the one who is saying something defamatory. Transform the motive behind the meaning of the words. This practice is needed. Otherwise, when one hears something about someone from another, the third person hears something from the second person, then those wasteful things spread into the atmosphere, due to which the atmosphere is not able to be powerful. You are then not even able to become an image that grants visions. Therefore, always have good wishes and benevolent feelings for everyone. To listen to defamatory things from one another is a waste of time and it deprives you from earning. If you're able to transform whatever they say, then listen to it. Otherwise, hear it, but do not listen. <laughs> By saying, if you're able to transform it, then listen. Otherwise, hear it, but don't listen. <laughs> In such a, such a practical Yukti Baba is giving not to support any defamatory statement or motive or intention, but instantly to transform it. Just like friends do, just like if someone would say something about Brahma Baba, we would you know, just transform it, change it, not support it. Because that's how the wasteful vibrations spread and an atmosphere cannot become powerful. And you are saying it is very important for us not to waste our time in this way. Baba says, speak about each one's specialities. Even if someone says that he has seen something, you should not speak any negative words to your lips. Just relate the speciality of the person who is being defamed and change the situation. Just relate the speciality of the person who is being defamed and change the situation. Let only vah vah emerge from everyone's lips for everyone. Only then will there be vah vah or the father. When you see or hear something not right about another person, do not keep that in your heart. Relate it to those higher up and finish it. Always keep yourself empty and light. If you have anything of any kind in your heart, then where you have any of those situations is but the father, Bab, will not be there. If any of such a situation or a bat is there in the heart, then we cannot truly remember Baba. 
Once Baba saying it's so important to always, always look at everyone's specialities to never, ever go into the other, uh, the other direction. Baba says that's what uh, doesn't allow us to remember Baba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baba says, we should not speak of anyone's defects in front of anyone. Because to speak about that means to spread the germs of an illness. When there are such germs around, you have to use some powerful medicine at that time to finish them. When someone asks how so and so is, let it emerge from your heart. He is very well. Many souls come with many different intentions, but they should go back with only pure feelings on you. Remain free from obstacles with just pure feelings. One feeling, one wish, and being lost in the love of one. Finish the stock of wasteful patterns and accumulate a stock of things of happiness. Finish the stock of wasteful matters and accumulate a stock of things of happiness. Let everyone just see souls swinging in happiness. Let there be spirituality in every word. Spiritual words are very sweet. According to the time, your stage should also be very elevated. The meaning of the ascending stage is to go beyond what you were like before and continue to move ahead. Your stage should be such that you are seen to be an image that grants visions. Then see how many crowds come. Your stage should always be concentrated and stable. And then the name will be glorified. Your stage should always be concentrated and stable. And then the name will be glorified. Everyone will come to check out your attitude, your vision, and your nature. But let them have an introduction to the real knowledge. Let them have an introduction to the real knowledge. Ah. Such a powerful and very practical Baba's versions. How to always look at specialities. How to always create a powerful atmosphere. Let us take a moment to absorb Baba's words. We realize that all of us are special souls. We've all been selected by Baba in his task of world transformation. We see one another with this vision of only seeing the speciality. And only relating the speciality. And we use the speciality in the field of service. We plant the seed 
and allow it to multiply and grow. We allow our heart to be very clean, not for it to be influenced by any part, so that my heart is a sacred space that holds Bab, the Father, Baba. Only good wishes, pure feelings, benevolent attitude remains in my heart. Nothing else. allows me to be a medium, to be a channel, to reveal Baba in the world. And all of us, Baba's children, together reveal him. As we prepare to return back, to our sweet home, silent. Om. Okay. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, family. Maybe open up and share what we'll take from the Murli today. So I I like the point uh, the sentence that Papa said. You know, it is impossible for souls who come into this godly family, right, um, not yet to have any speciality. So we have to recognize each one's speciality and use it. So everyone in this world is with one or the other specialities. So that's what the uniqueness that everyone carry. So uh, finding that speciality is sometimes difficult, but we have to look for it. So when we look for it, we will see it. And uh, this will avoid, you know, when we try to see the specialities, this will also avoid talking or uh, thinking or seeing the defects of others. So you look at it, Dharma Baba was uh, an ideal example for that because he only saw specialities of others and uh, he appreciated that speciality and he filled uh, enthusiasm and happiness uh, in others. So, um, you know, he uh, never kind of um, differentiated between educated and uneducated. He, he saw only speciality. So we have to practice that, you know, everybody's got children. So everybody has come to this world with one of the other specialities. And we should look at that. And when somebody realized their speciality, Baba also says to use them for service. And then it will be multiplied. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.
Any other thoughts? Om Shanti Pratham. Om Shanti. You know, a long time back, uh, I think um, during my college days, I used to read, you know, a kind of, uh, you know, I was, we were, we had this moral science classes. And I remember that's what I was just trying to recapitulate a story about Mrs. Judgment and uh, Mrs. Honesty. Like these two people meet and when they meet, they have a cup of tea and all. And then Honesty asked, okay, what's going on in your neighborhood? Then Judgment says, you know, I just have a new neighbor. And what a terrible person she is, so dirty her children are. And you know, so many things and all, a very bad picture she gives about, uh, they're meeting after a long time. And probably somebody has come in Mrs. Judgment's uh, place. So, so many things, I, I don't remember the full details that uh, even the towels are in the streets and all. So then uh, actually they are both staying in the same locality. The Mrs. Honesty says, oh my God, how come I didn't see this? Let me go and see. So when she goes there, she says, no, I can see only clean clothes. Then she says, judgment, go and see. I think your window has streaks. There are streaks on your window, not on your neighbor. I, I really like that. That's what I, that's the time, you know, I uh, learned about this art of uh, window cleaning. So in window cleaning, generally, as Baba said today, Baba is saying, see, but don't see. But I want to know, do I see only a good and remain blind to the negative? So does that mean Baba is saying, see only specialities, don't see good th negative things. Even if you see negative things, turn a blind eye, don't look at it, walk away from it. No. See here, Mrs. Honesty didn't do that. So look at both. The negative as well, the positive and the negative. But see whether you can transform that negative into positive into the, in the eyes of the person who is exhibiting the negative. I think that's the point which uh, uh, I liked over here, that transform. Like even if somebody speaks something, transform the motive behind the words. Somebody comes and tells you something very bad about something. So that motive, that intention, we should transfer. So it's not that we should not see the negative. It's not that we should only speak about good things about people. Uh, so I like uh, that one thing. So when can I have that? There are two questions. When can I have that? And why is Baba taking these moral science classes over here? That was even I was thinking because the story we learn in India. Yeah. First of all, Baba is saying, don't keep it in your hearts. It hurts. Whatever is there, just empty it. So for me to really transform, transform, I should have a clean heart, a lovely heart. I should empty all that and finish it. Otherwise, what I would be doing, I would be creating an epidemic. Then why Baba is saying that last line in the paragraph? Only then I can reveal knowledge to the Father. You're doing such a great thing. You want to bring out a flower in the garden and all, but please first clear the weeds of your own thing. Then only people will see, wow, this is the speciality, this is the knowledge. I think uh, 
this is what I could gather from the curtain of what ba the modern science class which Baba was taking on Shan. Very nice, uh, sister. I like the way you describe the art of window cleaning, mm -hmm. etc. But Saurabhai, can you give us a practical thing for it? Like, see, I remember one. Like, how do I discover my own specialities that I can know, I can close my eyes, I can find out. Like, take for example, am I good at making a pizza? So I'll go back to the time when I first made a pizza and I'll say, oh my God, what a mess I made of it. Let me not go into that area. That's not my job at all. Like, what we say, a self-inventory can I do. And I also know if you want to look at the specialities of others, uh, you should keep like they do, you know, in uh, icebreakers and all when they have this, uh, write down five specialities of yourself very easily. Uh, you write, now write down five specialities of the person sitting next to you. Then my pen doesn't move and all. So that I remember the icebreakers which used to be given, have a virtue inventory. Can you give us some more thing to like, uh, how do I really increase the, uh, this kind of uh, inventory writing about others? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I think we've um, all heard about how in the get care, how Baba Mama would resolve any situation and if someone were to come to Mama to say that, you know, this brother or sister, I'm having, you know, these issues or something. And before even they were to explain the situation or, you know, the person Mama would say, okay, first um, share you know, a good thing about, about the soul. Uh, share the speciality about the soul. And when they start to share the speciality, then automatically they realize that, you know, whatever they were holding on to is actually not true. It's just, it's just um, a temporary, you know, action that they are, you know, judging. Uh, and that's actually the influence of Maya. And that's what Maya comes to, you know, uh, so that we don't focus on you know, Baba's remembrance and Maya makes us, you know, busy into these small matters. And so Baba always says that one speciality that all of Baba's children have is of recognizing Baba. And everything else is actually given by Baba. Whatever, you know, the soul has is actually given by Baba. But then one speciality that we all have, irrespective of all the you know, weaknesses or anything that, you know, we carry through so many lives. It's a speciality of recognizing God in an ordinary form. And I've always said that this is only my children have this speciality. And so it is so important to have that sense of deep love and respect and, you know, for especially the Brahmin family. We're all God's children. Baba has selected us. It's so, so important. And that's why Baba also says to have faith in the family. You know, in, in addition to faith in, you know, the self, Baba, and drama, Baba also says to have faith in the family, not to lose that faith. Maya will always come to shake that faith, you know, in, in, in any way that she can. And that's when we begin to see the role and we stop looking at the being, we stop looking at you know, what speciality Baba has given uh, to that soul. And the moment we realize that, and, you know, we completely uh, are, you know, we just adore Baba, we say, oh Baba, you know, there's such a beautiful speciality we have given to this soul to carry out his task. And then it's 
it's amazing how Baba selects and places souls in different, you know, uh, areas so that he can get his task done. And we can all see that, you know, in spite of our shortcomings, I always tell myself, you know, any moment, any thought about anyone's weakness comes and ask myself, am I perfect? Do I um, not have weaknesses? Am I not working on myself? And so let me not, you know, look at... Let me try to not uh, hold on to that weakness or any other thought in my mind because that can be that can not uh, that can come in my way of remembering baba actually that won't allow me to remember baba more than anything else uh, <laughs> you know but, i heard uh, but don't you think brother what we you're doing now you're telling me now is a bit like a superstar, like what I find a nab attitude. I find, see, let me see if you see a white cloth and in that I see a dark spot. You say I should not see the dark spot, but I should see the 99% white, fine. But I should also make an attempt to remove the dark spot, which is actually making that 100% white to 99%. So, but when you say that, uh, just look at uh, the 99%, not at that, I feel um, like naive. Because if you see, even in window cleaning, what do they do? If one of the things they teach us, see, there are two things. First, what I'm using for the window cleaning, you know, all kind of cloth can never be used for window cleaning. That's what they say. These housewives know very clearly how can a window be cleaned? Similarly, they say, if you want to clean the center, go to the corner and clean it. So even there in window cleaning, they say first, the points which are very vulnerable, if you take care of it, then it is easy to come to the center. But when uh, you, what you're, when you're saying, look at speciality, I feel, I don't know, if you could just say that, it looked a little naive for me, like as if I'm a superstar. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do feel that the moment if if I am processing anyone's weakness, it means I have downloaded it, you know, that weakness into myself. And and really the weakness, we all know, right? It's um every soul has, you know, pure and eternal sun scars. It's only Maya, you know, that, that creates this illusion that this soul has a weakness. The reality is that no soul has any weakness. It's just the role that, you know, it's just the effect or in, uh, influence of Maya. And so the moment I notice someone's weakness, it's actually I'm downloading Maya and that weakness comes inside me. And that's why, you know, in spite of us having so many weaknesses, Baba never notices, Baba never, you know, of course, okay, Baba will, you know, uh, allow us or Baba will inspire us to make efforts. But Baba's, Baba never sees that, that part of the self that has been under the spell of illusion. Because really, really there's nothing called weakness. It's It's only... An, an illusion of Maya or an influence of Maya. Mm -hmm. uh, one thought may I add her? Sure, please. Yeah, so um, in real life, real scenario, if you look at it, you know, so when we come across uh, people, right, so let's say um, a colleague or someone, right, whom we start interacting, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you want, uh, if you see some defects, it's not that you don't see defects, you might see defects, uh, and uh, we know that we have to look at their specialities, and uh, if you 
you being a well wisher, right? Of course, Brahmins will have well wishing uh, in attitude towards everyone. So, if you want that person to change, when you can't, uh, you know, first um, go and tell him his defects, then of course he will not change. And there he might become our enemy, or that first impression might collapse, that might spoil. And uh, that person uh, listening to us in the future also might even impact that, you know, it might spoil. So the relationship also, it might, you know, affect. So um, the best way would be like Baba's method, right? We will have to see or um, explain or narrate the speciality. We know that everybody is with one or the other speciality, right? So when we um, highlight a speciality, right? And uh, let's say somebody, um, uh, you know, who's a, um, who has the heart of, uh, knows the heart of talking, right? So we can highlight that and say that the way you talk is really nice, you really impress people. And <clears throat> at the same time, you feel that he is rude, um, the way sometimes when he articulates sentence and all that, right? He's quite rude, but you want to convey that. But you can first, right, we can say that the way you talk is really nice. You quite impress people, though. Uh, but uh, I feel, right, if you can um, use a little bit of polite words, right, then you can really get to uh, heights, right? Uh, that way, you, though it's a defect that you are saying, but you are motivating him another way to improvise in that area. So he would think, initially would think that, oh, I have the speciality that he has noticed, that I can speak better. I, my communication skill is really powerful. I can influence people with this. And he would also give a room to think of that, okay, I should use more polite words, then I'm going to get better and better. So his attitude is towards the way, you know, uh, the, that which is highlighted, right, the second part. Though he is not, um, you know, the first person is not putting it as a defect, but he's giving it as a uh, means to improvise on this, uh, you know, area. So that person would take it in a positive way, though it is, you know, our intention was to give or show him the negativity, but we have to show it in a positive manner. So that person will take it and apply it. In similar case with any, any, uh, you know, any other thing. So Papa is also trying to do the same thing here. So when he comes, right, they start the murli with uh, telling us, praising us, everything, and then towards the um, end or, you know, after one or two paragraphs, he start telling us you have to improve this, practice this, see this, 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 that, and, you know, end of the day, end of the day, you will become so and so. So, I mean, this is a psychological approach that Baba is teaching us. Mm -hmm. Om Shanti. Thank you. Yeah, just uh, even I like the, what the brother shared now. When you were sharing, I was just thinking, see, you can look at, when you look at only your, for looking at the self, Baba says, look at your weaknesses too. Because if suppose I'm just going to look at only my specialities, I'll develop arrogance. That see, I have this, I have that. But for the self, Baba says, be aware of your weaknesses, not know the, be aware of your weaknesses, just awareness. But when it comes to others, Baba says, Use the window cleaning method. Use the art of seeing specialities. Look at the specialities. But when in the negative, it's uh, as the brother said, instead of directly going and trying to talk to the person, if I go and tell him, I know you have these uh, negative, but you have so many good qualities. I think I can apply this rule when somebody else speaks to me about that person. I can really instead of listening to that negative of others, I can understand the intention. So what was the intention, the motive of that person, of that weakness? If I'm able to explain, I think uh, there would be a good atmosphere. And uh, I think uh, it would be solved. I feel that's what it is. Just I wanted to add to that psychology. Like a holy swan. I should have that power of discerning. Yeah, no one likes to hear their defects, you know, whether it's a holy person or a, uh, you know, a person who is doing any sort of a sinful acts, but still, nobody likes to hear their own defects 
uh, hearing from others. So everyone likes hearing their specialities from others. So when we put across in a positive way, that really works. I mean, that person would listen to it because um, in a way, he is energizing by hearing all this. That's what I feel. Yeah. Thank you. If I know for the share, brother, can we move on to meditation, please? Sure. Let's take a moment. As we go within. We allow the, the drama to fade away. And any path I may be holding on to, I let it go, knowing that every soul is extremely special. Because we are all Papa's children. I see everyone the way Papa sees them. It allows me to stay close to Baba. To remember Baba. To be with Baba. To always have Baba in my heart. Nothing else, no one else. Om Shanti. Thank you. Om Shanti. Thank you to Baba. Thank you, Saurabhai. Thank you, Divine Family. See you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, have a lovely day.